Now to coverage from Poland. For the first time ever, the Western Reserve Joint Fire District is fully staffed in-house. Until today, firefighters and EMS responded to calls from home. First News reporter Kristen McFarland is live from Station 92 tonight with that story. Kristen. Dave, Lindsay, good evening. Yes, this is a huge day for the Poland community. Thanks to a levy that passed last summer, this station here is now staffed full with firefighters and EMS 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And these emergency crews will now be paid hourly instead of per call. Today, I spoke with first responders at Station 92, and they are just thrilled to elevate services for the community. It's a huge, huge deal. Uh, we are all super excited. Everybody that's working today has been on the fire department for quite some time. Station 92 is filled with firefighters and EMS ready to respond to emergencies. We chose this station in particular because it's more central to the village and the township, and it's biggest. <laughs> it has the space that we need to live. Emergency crews will be able to respond to calls directly from the fire station instead of volunteers having to go from their homes to the station, then to the scene. Firefighters tell me response time will be much more efficient. For every one minute without CPR, your chance to survival decreases by 10%. So with us lowering that response time, we're going to be able to get to you faster and hopefully provide better outcomes for the residents of our community. Station 92 holds heavy rescue equipment, the big engine, and two different ambulances. They are expecting to get more mutual aid calls. We are still surrounded by a few different volunteer fire departments and volunteer EMS agencies. Um, so if something bad is going on, they're like, hey, we need you right now. We now have the staff in here that we're going to be able to go and help them. Having quicker response times to emergencies may help with homeowners and business insurance rates. The volunteer fire departments get dinged pretty easily because it takes us longer because we're coming from home. So usually the ratings are lower, but now that we're staffed and we can take those uh, response times down, and talking to crews here today, they said they'll have five staffed during the day and then three staffed during the late night, early morning hours. And they want you to know that they're still going to utilize those volunteer crews when necessary. Live in Poland Township, Krista McFarland, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.